Oh my God, neighbors, y'all gotta get in here and check this out. It is looking like Drake has had enough of this song, Not Like Us, playing. Him and Jay Prince are being accused of banning Not Like Us from being played in Houston clubs. Um, a DJ- Touchdown, back in H-Town. You know what I mean? We've been in Las Vegas, taking care of business. You know what I mean? Kicking ass and taking names. Drake seems to be taking another hit. Word on the street is that his relationship with Jay Prince is on the rocks. However, Jay Prince isn't just leaving Drake out to dry. Rumors suggest he's extorting Drake for money. Mace, always ready to spill the tea, has stepped into the fray. But how did Mace get tangled in this drama? Recently, Mace had a clash with Jay Prince and saw a chance to air out some secrets. Mace claims that Jay Prince had the time to send him a warning but was nowhere to be found when Drake was beefing with Kendrick Lamar. Mace paints a picture of Jay Prince slacking off while still getting paid in full. So, how exactly is Jay Prince extorting Drake? Has Drake really become a puppet? And what will happen to Mace after challenging one of hip-hop's most notorious figures? Let's dive deeper. This whole saga kicked off when Drake made headlines for allegedly banning Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us from being played in Houston. Fans were split. While some understood Drake might be tired of hearing the track everywhere, banning it in an entire city seemed a bit extreme. So, did Drake actually do it? Or was it all just rumors? DJ Airy chimed in on Twitter, sharing that she had gotten into trouble for playing the song at some clubs. When someone asked what trouble meant, Airy didn't hold back. She explained on Instagram that while Drake and Jay Prince never directly told her to stop playing the song, promoters and people who respect them did, and she got the message. It was clear that no one expected Drake and Jay Prince to give out orders personally. There's always a middleman. One commenter even questioned who would think Drake and Jay Prince were directly telling DJs not to play a song. The real issue here isn't the ban itself. It's the fact that Drake had to use his own connections and money to make it happen. Where were those mob ties he often boasted about? Where was Jay Prince during this beef? It looks like Jay Prince might have taken Drake's money and run. Drake and Jay Prince have a long history together. Back in 2007, Jay Prince's son, Jazz Prince, discovered Drake on MySpace. Jazz saw potential in Drake and soon had him on a plane to Houston. Jazz introduced Drake to Lil Wayne and the rest is history. Drake signed a deal with Cash Money and Aspire Music Group, with Jay Prince securing 33% of Drake's earnings. Though their relationship had its ups and downs, including a lawsuit from Prince over compensation, they remained close. Jay Prince, growing up in the dangerous streets of Houston, knew how to handle himself and provided Drake, who isn't from a gangster background with protection, for a price. Jay Prince is no amateur. He's been in the industry for over 40 years and commands respect, but he goes where the money is, and Drake likely had Jay Prince on his payroll to fight his battles. This isn't unusual in the darker side of hip-hop. Even Kanye West needed reinforcements during a trip to Philadelphia. Rick Ross faced a similar situation in Detroit, when he didn't get permission from Trick Trick, a local rapper. Ross was surrounded by 100 individuals and denied entry to the city, a public humiliation for not respecting local rules. Checking in with local gatekeepers is a controversial but integral part of the hip-hop industry. Fans don't approve, seeing it as a way for locals to exploit rappers. Despite the backlash, this practice continues. Jay Prince has turned it into a business, protecting the rappers under his wing. When NBA Youngboy's house was robbed, Jay Prince posted a video with the stolen items, seemingly doing him a favor. Fans suspected Jay Prince staged the robbery because Youngboy didn't pay his respects. Youngboy ranted about the situation but didn't owe Prince anything, or it could have ended worse. Takashi 6 9 ini learned the hard way when he refused to check in and faced Jay Prince's wrath. Jay Prince is not someone you want to mess with, but if you play your cards right, he can be a powerful ally. Drake knew this and paid his dues. Jay Prince ended Drake's beef with Kanye West and even warned NBA Youngboy when he disrespected Drake. During Drake's feud with Pusha T, Jay Prince intervened, saying he saw the beef going to a place that could have ended Drake's career. He convinced Drake to hold back a track that could have hurt families, saying it was beyond music. So why is Jay Prince silent about the beef with Kendrick Lamar? It's not like he's retired. He's still active and recently clashed with Cameron and Mace. Mace criticized Shakur Stevenson's fighting style, leading to a social media spat with Jay Prince, 
who was Shakur's manager. J. Prince defended Shakur, but Cam and Mace fired back, questioning why J. Prince was selective in his confrontations. Mace pointed out that J. Prince didn't say anything during Drake's beef with Kendrick. This selective behavior hints that J. Prince might have backed down from the fight, leaving Drake to fend for himself. J. Prince's silence suggests he's living off Drake's money without doing his job. Drake had to handle the Houston situation himself, indicating a possible fallout. Some sources say J. Prince is mad at Drake for not following his advice, leading to this mess. Fans believe there's some truth to the rumors, with J. Prince being more interested in money than anything else. Others think J. Prince should retire his gangster ways and let Drake think on his own. As the situation continues to unravel, it becomes increasingly clear that there are deeper layers to this Drake and J. Prince saga. Drake's decision to handle the Kendrick Lamar situation on his own speaks volumes about the current state of his relationship with J. Prince. The once tight-knit alliance now appears fractured, with Drake seemingly left to navigate the treacherous waters of the hip-hop industry without his longtime protector. A speculation is rife about why J. Prince might have taken a step back. One theory gaining traction is that J. Prince, known for his strategic mind and calculated moves, might see the Kendrick beef as a lost cause. By distancing himself, he preserves his own reputation and resources, avoiding the risk of being entangled in a potentially endless and damaging feud. This would explain why Drake had to use his own money and connections to enforce the ban on Not Like Us in Houston. But if J. Prince is indeed extorting Drake, what does that mean for their future? Drake, despite his immense success and influence, appears to be caught in a web spun by the very man who helped launch his career. The dynamic of power and dependency between them is shifting, and not necessarily in Drake's favor. With J. Prince allegedly taking a cut without providing the usual protection, Drake is left exposed, his vulnerabilities more apparent than ever. Mace's involvement adds another layer of complexity. His boldness in calling out J. Prince and bringing attention to his actions could serve as a catalyst for change. Mace has made it clear that the old ways of the hip-hop industry, where veterans like J. Prince wield unchecked power, are being challenged. His public statements are not just a critique of J. Prince, but a broader commentary on the shifting dynamics within the industry. However, Mace's safety is now a topic of concern. Taking on a figure as formidable as J. Prince is no small feat, and history has shown that those who cross him often face serious repercussions. Yet, Mace seems undeterred, perhaps banking on the public scrutiny and support to shield him from any potential backlash. His audacity might inspire others to speak out, slowly dismantling the fear-based hierarchy that has long dominated hip-hop. As the dust settles, one thing is clear. The power dynamics within the industry are shifting. Drake, once protected by the formidable presence of J. Prince, now finds himself navigating a more perilous path alone. Whether this will lead to his downfall or a new era of independence remains to be seen. Meanwhile, Mace's bold moves could mark the beginning of a new chapter where artists refuse to be manipulated by the old guard. For now, fans and industry insiders alike are left to speculate and observe. The unfolding drama between Drake, J. Prince, and Mace serves as a potent reminder of the ever-evolving nature of hip-hop, where alliances can shift overnight and the balance of power is always in flux.